focus here has been on you know, what, what role, if any, do citizens, stakeholders in, in regions like Aberdeen and, and in similar places think that CCS might have in helping to achieve this environmentally sustainable future. And there's, there's a word, there's a phrase up there that I'd particularly like to draw your attention to, and that is the idea of a, of a just transition. So this is something, again, that's got a lot of traction politically recently. And you know, as, a, as, a, as an environmental social scientist, one of my um, kind of concerns is people sort of picking up phrases and words and just picking them, picking them up and using them without understanding the history. And so I think it's worth just um, pointing out you know, what, what um, within this project we understand a just transition to mean and what some of the more recent understandings are. So I suppose our concern is more of what a just transition is in the sense it was more traditionally understood by largely trade unions, but, but not, not exclusively, as regards, well, what are the implications for workforces and for people in carbon intensive regions who, you know, who, whose jobs, whose livelihoods maybe rely on, on some of these, these industries, and how does one ensure that they are not left behind as we move towards a more sustainable future? You'll also see more recently a lot of environmental groups, quite rightly, maybe speaking in a wider sense about a just transition at a kind of global level about um, low to middle income countries and, and how, how people are not, are not left behind in a, in a sort of broader sense. Not, that's maybe something slightly different, and I'll come back to that at the end, but I just wanted to be clear about what it is within this project. We're focusing maybe on this, this narrower idea of a just transition in terms of, of workers and, and workforces.